I'm Ali Salam. This is Circle 7 Media, and this is the Affairs of Men, where Noble Drali told us, take your place in the affairs of men. Okay? This ain't got nothing to do with relationships, ain't got nothing to do with cheating or nothing, men having affairs. No, this is political uh, um, news, period. News that affects black America. All right. Now, the election is five days away. Okay? This is feeling like it's some Armageddon shit, like real talk. This is feeling like this is the Antichrist and America is like, will America make it? It's on, it's, it's on the ballot, real shit. The reason why I say that is because we have a pandemic that is flying through our country right now. Like we have over 200, just, just close to 250,000 people have died in just this year. From, from a disease that the Republicans are acting like the shit don't even exist. Oh, we're rounded. He said it's going to wash away. It's going to disappear. It's going to disappear. It's going to wash away. It's going to go away. He believes in power positive thinking, which is okay because we all do too. We, we might not make it. Shout out to Lord Drip. We might not make it is what I'm trying to say. So if you vote, if we vote in this Repub these Republicans again, they're literally... They're going to act like the coronavirus don't exist, my nigga. Like, they're going to act like it doesn't exist. And it's going to ravage through the, like, the, our only hope is to get somebody else new in there. Like, besides whatever you want to vote for, coronavirus has to be, the like, bro, we may not even have a Thanksgiving as we know it. Your son and your daughter aren't going to school right now. The shit is real. And Republicans only care about that bread, bro. They only care about that money. So, so what, what else is on the balance? Racial, racial stuff. Right now, we got political leverage. And right now, we, we, we throwing it on Joe Biden right now. We got Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris is very, she went to Howard. I went to Howard. It would be nice to know that there is somebody in the White House that knows about us and knows what we've gone through, regardless of her history. That's much better than these guys. Okay? So, this election is monumental. It really feels like America as we... <sighs> anyway, shout out to Lord Drip because he said exactly what it is. We might not make it. So it feels like it's Armageddon. La Think about it in the last days. The Antichrist, Donald Trump Antichrist, right? Wars, rumors of wars. That's what's happening. Plagues, like instability, charismatic leaders, false prophets, we are in that time. And this election, it's 2020. This has been the, yo, 2020, I need to say more. This, the election is going to be the top of 2020. Okay. So if you're in any of these states, you have to vote. Okay. Arizona, Texas, Georgia, Florida, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Michigan, and Wisconsin, you have to to vote. All right. So the election is coming up. See, I got to do this. So don't go away. Earlier today was Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. Quiet. For Donald Quiet. Trump, a lot more different. Okay. Here it goes. There are two forms of voting, right? There is popular vote, right? Whoever gets the popular vote. The popular vote is whoever gets the most votes. That's the way you did it at your student council. That's the way you did it at, at in your classroom. That's the way we do it for the mayors and the governors and the state assembly and all laws. It's popular vote. Who gets the most vote? And as long as you get 51% of the vote, use a winner. But guess what? There's one mode of politics that we don't use who gets the most votes. And what is it? It's the presidential election for federal office, the president, the biggest election. What do they use? They don't use a popular vote. They use the electoral college. I tell you, in 2016, in terms of popular vote, who got the most votes? Hillary Clinton got the most votes. Let me read Lord Drip. This electoral vote is undemocratic. What happened to the one man, one vote? Exactly, brother. You might want to call in. Yes. So what happened is in 2016, Hillary Clinton got 3 million more votes than Donald Trump. That should be enough reason for her to be president of the United States of America. But just like Lord Drip said, it's not one man, one vote. 
So what happens is when slavery was over or when, when, when it was like, you know what I mean, on its way out, the slave states wanted a bigger stake in their vote mattering because they, they were out. Because think of it, the slave states is just right here. America was probably like just cut off right here. So all of these states have more sway. They have more, they have more sway than them. And it was um, unpopular. Okay. So they came up with the electoral college. And what that says is they, they unfairly distribute the votes based on the state. Okay. So, so there, there's 538 electoral college votes, period. And that's divided amongst the 50 states, including um, Alaska, Hawaii, and I believe Puerto Rico. I'm not sure. No, Puerto Rico doesn't get to vote. Okay, now, so based on the population of the state, you get um, X amount of electoral college votes. California is the most populous state in our country, in our union. So we get 55, I mean California, we get 55 electoral college votes. Texas, 38. That's huge. That's a lot of votes. New York, 29. Michigan, 16. Uh, Virginia, 13. I'm just saying random ones. Illinois, 20. Uh, 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 Wyoming, 3. Oregon, 7. Nevada, 6. Okay? North Dakota, 3. South Dakota, 3. Now, see, now that's not right. Because there's... Okay. Los Angeles has more people than North Dakota and South Dakota. Yet, they get 6% of the electoral college vote. Excuse me. They get 6 votes of that, which is probably... Because 333, it's like 30, it's like they get, it's about like 10% of the actual vote, okay? And so it's totally not right. So with that being said, the way it boils down, so these elections is only truly, truly based on like 11 states, like real shit. It's only really based on like 11 states. And here are the states that it matters. Okay. If you see these gray states, the gray states are the states where they're called battleground states. Florida, Georgia, North Carolina, I'm going to say Pennsylvania, Ohio, Michigan, Wisconsin, Iowa, Texas, and Arizona. Now, historically, Texas and Florida have not been um, um, battleground states because normally they go straight to the Republicans. Now, what do we see here? If you see a state that's in all like dark blue, that is a for show Joe Biden, a for show Democratic state. Like, for sure, like, you ain't even got to do the election. It, California is going to go Democratic. You know what I'm saying? So, let me be more specific. So, in California, there's a popular vote in California. So, let's say they're, like, all the people in California vote, right? And let's just say 10 million people vote, or close to it. If 5 million people, 5 million and 1 people vote for Joe Biden, and 5 million people vote for, for Trump, California gets all 55. California gets all 55 of the electoral college vote. Yes, I am back, wall girl. Right? So that's how that works. Okay? So, so on election night, there's only a few states you need to... I'm going to break it down for you. All right. First things foremost is when you add up all of the states that are already Democratic, right? You add up the blue and the light blue, New York, Virginia. You add it all up. Oh, you have to get to, to you always say that, wild girl, Trump's going to win. You have to get to 270 electoral college votes. That is, you know, one percentage over 50% of 538. So the whole goal is 270 votes, electoral college votes. The way it's already broke down, the way it's already broke down, Joe Biden is at 238 already. Before the game even start, he's at 238. Why? Because these states for show, the one is in dark blue is like, it's, it, it's, it's Joe Biden for show. The one in light blue is, it's Joe Biden, but not as for show, but it's Joe Biden. Okay, so Nevada, Colorado, you, so you add up all the blues and the light blues, Trump is, I mean, um, Biden's already at 238. That means he needs 232. So that means he only needs 38 more electoral college votes. He's the president. Now, Texas is 38. What does that mean? That means no matter what happened in, none, in all these other states, if Joe Biden went Texas, fat lady sung, it's a wrap. Mathematically, it's a wrap. But here's the problem. Texas cheats. They cheat, they cheat, they cheat, they cheat. 
and they try to make sure the brothers in Houston don't get to vote. They taking brothers, right? Let me tell you. The, the governor said, this is what we're going to do. We're going to make one drop off, one voting location drop off per county. Okay, like, that, that's crazy. There's, in, 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 in the county that Houston is in, it's like 5 million people. So 5 million people got to share one voting, like, like um, drop off. That, that's called voter suppression. They're literally trying, to, they're trying to make sure you don't vote and they're trying to make it hard as possible. So we, the Republicans are going to cheat in Texas. Now, Texas is like the middle of their hood, right? It's almost like, you know, there's a gang in your neighborhood, you know, like the liquor store, the park they hang out, that's the middle of their hood. That's the middle of Republican hood, okay? And so, you know, I think over the last 50 years, it's been straight Republican. All the polls have it's 50-50. It's 50-50. So it's anybody's game. So that night, if you see Texas wins, it's a wrap. <laughs> check them cards. <laughs> I do tarot cards. So somebody said, check them cards, man. All right, so that's that. Now, Hillary Clinton had 3 million less votes, but Donald Trump only won by a margin of like 76,000 votes. Like, that's it. And those 76,000 votes were spread out between Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania and Ohio. That's it. Razor thin. Okay? So, um, so Joe Biden. So now, uh, so now, when we're watching, when we're watching election night, you guys watch out for the following states. Texas. If Texas goes Biden, it's a wrap. Florida, 29. It's just about a wrap. Plus, I'm telling, no, it's a wrap. I think they said it's like 96% chance Biden will win if he win Florida. So it's a wrap. Florida or Texas, it's a wrap. Okay? Texas, it, Texas has been a Republican state. It may go blue. That's the thing. It may go blue. Oh, man. Damn. Joe Biden does not All right. Now. Another thing to take note, Pennsylvania, they say, they, <laughs> I'm just laughing at the comments. That is KKK country. Yes, it is. Um, uh, uh, Pennsylvania, they say if Trump, if Biden, if Biden wins Pennsylvania, he has another, like, just think of it. He's at 232 right now. If he wins Pennsylvania, he's already at 252. And he got to go to 270. It's just about a wrap. It's just about a wrap. So, um, so, so election night, when y'all at home or whatever you're watching before you log on to this channel and we're discussing it that night, you're watching out for the following Pennsylvania, Florida and Texas period. Okay. That's where it is in terms of like specifically, but in general, you're looking up in these gray States, you're looking out for Wisconsin, um, uh, Michigan, Ohio, North Carolina, Georgia, Florida, Texas, and Arizona. Because Donald Trump is only at 125, he needs all of them states. Okay? He needs all of them. And then if he gets all of them, then maybe he'll get to... Joe Biden got a big lead. So, and everybody say, oh man, the polls, man, last time Hillary Clinton was leading the polls. Yeah, that's she was not liked. And so many people who didn't go out to vote is the reason why she didn't win. Donald Trump is highly unpopular. He's the most unpopular president in American history. So the way it looks is if you live in these states, it is imperative that you vote. 